Okay guys, welcome back to episode two of our Cape trip. If you haven't seen our first episode, quickly jump back. I'll throw a link down below. Go back and watch our first episode. That's us uh, getting from home all the way up to Penny Father last night. For those of you that already watched the first episode, just stick around. Today we are, we've left Penny Father. We've headed back into Weeper and we've grabbed a few little supplies from Woolies in there. And uh, we've hit the corrugations, as you can probably see. It's uh, it's pretty pretty rough out here today, but um, got to love it. Better than being at home or at work, I reckon. So uh, we've we've left uh, we left Penny Father this morning, and we're heading into Bramwell Station. So start of the telly track today, the old telly track. Uh, really looking forward to it. Hoping to get to do a little bit of you know serious four wheel driving and catch a little bit on the camera and the drone but um obviously want to be able to drive this back as it's our daily car so Right, oh, here we go. We've made it to the start of the old telly track. Looking pretty forward to this one. We just stopped in at Bramwell Station here, uh, grabbed a bit of fuel, had a bit of lunch. It's now uh, 3 30. We're hoping to hit the track and see how far we can get this afternoon. Looking pretty forward to it. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to day nine, I think it is here, uh, on the telly track today. So, uh, last night we attempted to start the telly track. We drove in a couple of k down the track, down into Palm Creek, and it was just, just too gnarly for our first day. It was, you know, the, um, one, of the, one of the entrances there were like gunshot, wasn't interested in that one, the other one. The other one wasn't too bad dropping into the creek, but the other side was um, it's got to be a pretty serious uh, winking effort to get out the other side. So we decided to just call it quits on that one. We headed back out to the uh, Bamaga Road and we popped back in through the, the Gumshot Bypass and we camped up in a uh, Birdie Creek last night, which was a pretty nice little spot. We pulled in there about 6.30 I think it was and we had a quick swim, cleaned off from uh, all the sunscreen and whatnot and um, call the night.
Easy, easy. Turn like this. Turn for his tire. Nice wheel it. into it pretty much. We started cruising the telly and um, first real obstacle for today was was gunshot, which you'll uh, you'll see now. Pretty awesome little uh, spot there. Still a little bit of technical drive and a little bit of a winch at the end there. There was just not enough clearance, just um, just dipped out pretty much. So good to get the uh, the winch a bit of a run and um, help out everybody else there.
Just up in the tree back falls, another awesome little spot there. Um, stay there for about an hour and a bit. Awesome spot, there's um, you know, waterfall well and truly over your head. Standing under the falls and stuff, that's pretty cool. And then um, put the drone up at the end there when we were leaving, and again, just doesn't do it justice. So, um, yeah, would definitely recommend hitting that one. Anyway, we're um, back in the car again, four o'clock. And uh, we're heading heading north back along the old heli track up towards uh, Elliot Falls. We have a little place there called, um, I think it's Canal River or something like that. <coughs> so we're going to try and camp there for the night, see how we go, and um, yeah, make the most of it. Morning, everybody. Welcome to day 10. Here we are this morning in at uh, Elliot Falls. Absolute another ripper of a spot up here. Um, just been for a little bit of a swim just down the back there. Absolute ripper of a spot. Um, a couple of the guys got caught out with how much flows down there. Actually um, went straight past the exit spot. So um, pretty awesome. About to head down to uh, Twin Falls, which is just down a little bit further. So um, we'll see what we can find. But unfortunately all good things do need to come to an end. Time for us to get back on the road. Sabi, we're heading to Punton Bay, so we've got a fair bit of driving to do. It's um, already 10.30, so we've got a fair bit of fair bit of driving to do, so we'll um, see how we go.
we uh, kind of run out a bit of time to finish off the old telly today. We um, it's about 12 o'clock by the time we left um, the Twin Falls and Elliot Falls there, so we ended up, you know, getting stuck into it and having a good time there. So we um, ran out of time, so we ended up uh, leaving leaving the old telly, and we come back out onto the Bamaga Road, and uh, we're heading for the Jardine. We've actually just pulled up here and just brought our ticket. Um, and we're about to go across the Jardine because we've got two nights booked in at Punzen Bay at the caravan park there So we kind of had to get up there in time and we've heard that the the Jardine ferry has been backed up for a couple of hours wait And so we didn't want to risk it We um, we've actually got here and there's next to nobody here. So um, It's 2 30 now. We're about to head across and um, Spend a couple of nights up at Punzen. It should be nice have a nice proper shower for a while couple of nights up there and um, yeah no looking forward to it so we'll see what we can find up there Morning everyone. What are we up to? Day 11? I think so, yeah. Day 11, day 12, something like that. Getting on. Today's the uh, all exciting day, the day that we've come all the way this way, all this way for. We're um, off to right up to the top, the most northern part of Australian um, mainland. So really looking forward to that. We um, obviously camped in at uh, Punson Bay last night. Pretty nice little spot, had an awesome little bit of um, live music last night and uh, wood-fired pizzas so that hit the spot that was pretty good but uh, yeah we made it we've done what have we done 3,127 kilometers since we left home so we've been doing a fair bit we um, yeah uh, pretty excited so we'll head to the top and see what we can find let's get it Wasting here, waiting for another year. We both know the score. We have been here once before. So many words unspoken. You took my heart, it's already broken. You don't have to wait. I can take the pain. I will surrender. Let me go on a new adventure.
tip done off the bucket list, ticked off. That was a pretty awesome experience. It was a bit um, a bit bloody windy out there. It was blowing nearly 50k an hour, so a bit of a mission to try and get some photos. And there's just people everywhere. It was, you know, there's a big lineup of people up there waiting. So I had to quickly get in and get a couple of photos and get out of there. And uh, had a little bit of an incident when we were trying to put the drone up. Somebody decided to put their fingers in the propellers and slice it open, so that made for a bit of a scene as well. So all patched up now and all good. So happy days. We're uh, just heading back in now, back into a little place called Somerset Beach, I think it is. Um, there's a couple little, there's a little bit of a beach system in there. There's a cool, another little one called Five Beaches or something like that. So we're going to head in there for a quick feed and probably spend the afternoon up there and then head back to camp at Punzen for the night. So let's see how we go. G'day guys, welcome to day 13. So today's not really gone as planned. We had all intentions of getting up this morning and heading back down south and getting back on the telly track and um, camping at Nolan tonight. But uh, that was quickly pulled to a halt. Uh, old boys uh, ended up with a couple of little engine light um, come up on the dash so we sat around for a bit waiting for RACQ to come out and have a look at it and um, got, got the better of me and I asked old mate to check my car over for me as well while we're there and um, yeah definitely the starter motor so we um, changed our plans a bit we're going to stay another night here in um, in Loyalty Beach for the night um, we're just on the way now to down to the mechanic shop and he's going to pull the starter motor out and give it a good clean up um, hopefully that sorts it out so going down to the boys at um, North Queensland remote mechanical hopefully they can you know sort it out they've pretty much dropped everything for us to get us in so um, yeah really loving it so so there we go hopefully it's an easy fix and they can just clean him out and clean the brushes up a bit and it's um, sweet to go but see what happens so. alrighty good morning everybody day 14 today is the day that we hopefully get back to the old telly track car started pretty well this morning so pretty happy old mate did a really good job last night he um, pulled it out cleaned it up for me and um, you know it's working working as well as it can probably have to replace it when we get home but it'll be enough to get us home so um, happy days the old boy's car's looking all right, so it's got no engine lights this morning either. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, we uh, get back to the old telly. Gonna go spend the night at uh, Nolan's tonight, I think. We're not gonna cross it. It's heard along the grapevines about 1.5 meters deep, so way too deep for me to cross. I'm not really interested in writing the car off today, so uh, we might sit there and watch a couple other people that might want to write the their car, car off. off, you know. So, we'll, um, we'll see how that goes, but. Uh, yeah, nice cruisy day today. It's uh, nine o'clock, so we're gonna head back down south, across the Jardine, back into Nolan. So, see how we go.
Hi guys, welcome to today's stream. Today we are visiting uh, Nolan and we're heading uh, back out to the city arc and we're going to the track of the city arc so it's back from where we left it a couple of days ago. So we're going to try and um, head back north, back up towards uh, Logan Street, I think, uh, see how far we can get and uh, see if we have to do a couple of street stops and get a couple of photos and whatnot and uh, I didn't plan to head back to Sand Street for the night and, uh, and sleep there, so we'll uh, see how we go. You used to stop this world from spinning Like Superman, you were the only one to find The strength in all that I was dealing with this life like kryptonite And if you keep me close A minute in this hourglass You hold Oh, oh, oh
Hello guys, welcome to day 16. This will probably be the last day of the episode, I think. Um, you know, we're we kind of, yeah, probably the series, yeah. We're uh, on the way home now, so we uh, got up this morning, left Dams Creek, we cruised in quickly and had a look at Elliot and Twin Falls again. Absolutely beautiful place. Um, pretty, pretty glad that we got to head back there for a couple of hours. A bit of skin off. Off. Uh, the old little tin rocks under the water are a bit, a bit how you're going, but fun nonetheless. So, heading back down north today, pretty much just going to be driving for the next couple of days until we get home. So, we'll probably clock off there, and if we see it's exciting on the way home, we might tag it on to the end. But, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for following along our little adventure. Uh, it's been awesome. 16 days and counting on the road, and we're Loving it, yeah. We can probably live out of the car, I reckon, for six months, no dramas. So, um, absolutely loving it. Stay tuned for our next little adventure. Don't know when that'll be, probably when we get our new caravan in a couple of weeks. So, stay tuned for that one. And, uh, yeah, like and subscribe, guys. Thank you very much for following. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.